How are you doing, YouTube? Um, just now getting started making videos and everything. I'm right here. I'm uh, feeding my Amazon tree bow, so I just thought, you know, right now would be a good time to start. While she's out, get a nice good shot of her. Very pretty garden phase. Um, right now, she's eating pinkies because of how skinny she is. I got her from LLL Reptiles. I know they're supposed to be very skinny snakes, but I'd like to fatten her up a little bit. She's kind of approaching. Decently mm, docile. She'll strike, but what Amazon tree boa doesn't like. I like it. I handle her. do all that. But, um, I'm new to YouTube. Um, I want to make a lot more videos of all my snakes, my spiders, my scorpions. Um, right here. This snake I've had for maybe two weeks now. Um, I ordered online from LLReptiles.com. And, um, so far, it was pretty good. Not a bad snake. Nice pattern. Decent temperament. Um, but my some of my other snakes I have, like right here, I have my Western Hog Nose. See if I can get that to focus in. There we go. Very pretty snake. Awesome snake. And then over here, let me zoom out. I have right here if that is my fire red bird eater sling um i'll get a shot of that let me see where she's at first out oh. right there growing at a decent rate um down here my emperor scorpion her name's rager and then back over here and just check on her. See how she's doing with that pinky. Very skinny, so right now she's on pinkies. I'm going to step her up. Um, maybe the next feeding, she's getting a little bit bigger. Um, over here, I have a curly hair sling. Let me try to... This lid off. I'll show you guys my little hide thing. Grown quite a bit since I've gotten them. Over here, let me check on her again. That pattern just so pretty. Decently aggressive snakes, but they make amazing pets, um, especially for advanced or experienced owners of snakes. Right now, I have two ball pythons, a uh, red tail boa. Um, he's a uh, hypo orange. I also have a milk snake, which she's up here under her water bowl. I'll maybe bring her out, but these snakes are just so pretty. Over here, she's got her hide, her leaves, her stick that she can climb on, and then her water bowl back there. I also have two green iguanas, um, a bunch of different tarantulas. These, the ones I have, my rent like up here is an OBT. He's right there. And then in here, if I can, oh, she's. Oh no, she's going down. This is another fire red bird eater. Decent grown a lot. So, I'll do feeding videos on everything. I just wanted to get into the YouTube. Alright, um, she got that one down quite a bit. There we go. So while she's getting that, getting that down, I'll show you some of the other stuff that I have. This snake is like the cutest snake in the world. Western hog noses are the best. And here we have 
and get it zoom in. My Arizona striped tail scorpion. She's hiding right now. Um, not aggressive at all. Like I'll take my finger. I can just right in. She won't sting or anything. There, out she comes. Her name's Big Mama. She's had 54 babies on me. 54. I traded those. And the tarantulas that I have. I just can't get over that cuteness right there. Look at that little face. Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> And this guy up here is kind of just doing his own thing. He's going to molt soon. We can get in there and get a good shot of him. He's got his molt coming. His name's Flash because he's so quick. And then in here, I have another OBT. She's kind of MIA, kind of hiding. Down there you can see her molt and then I think she's laying right next to it right over here but hopefully a female so those two can get some breeding oh, what are you doing in here yeah she gets the pinkies done really fast I'm gonna move her up next feeding she just kinda struggled with the next size up that I had I'm in here like I showed you a little rager very nice scorpion. Pretty much all of them are nice except for this guy in here. He's my Asian forest. I can hold him, do all that, but he'll hiss at me. He'll try to get me. Look at this guy one more time. One more time. Look at that little face. Look at that little face. Say, I'm famous. I'm on YouTube. Adorable. Little cage. Got her on Aspen. Little hide. Water dish. I'm going to move her up real soon. And then, checking that again. Beautiful. Like in my room right now, I just have this basic set up. I got OBT, slings, scorpions, snake up here, snake down there, hog nose over there, and then down there I have scorpion. I can get my finger on the shot. Scorpion. That's Big Mama. And over there, I had an emerald skeleton, but it passed away, so now I keep my crickets in there. Um, my iguanas are over here somewhere. Most likely under their carpet. And then, go back to this one. In here, we have my red tail boa. His name's Bo. He's currently shedding, so I'm not going to mess with him too much. Um... I might be able to get a shot, a shot of them. He's my buddy, probably one of my favorites. He's got his calves, but he's a very pretty snake. I'm going to leave him alone for now. I'll move him and put his rock back. He's grown decently big on me. He's also puppy dog friendly. He won't bite or anything. Only time he's ever tried to get me was after a feeding. But I'm gonna get him back. Leave him alone. Or if he goes back inside. 
nocturnal lights on pretty much all my snakes and then on the iguanas basking and all that junk. Still pushing it down. all locked up on his way back in. And there's this girl over here. <laughs> Both the pinky mice are in her belly right there. So you can see the pinkies do, you know, fill her up. And I think this last one over here. Might go to the hog nose, get a shot of her eating. So, I want to move her up, but then she's really, really small. Skinny wise, up top, like from here up. So, I don't know, we'll try it and see what happens. If I can find a mouse small enough, I might. I like doing two pinkies because it's easier for them to digest. Two smaller than one bigger. So... And then this guy over here, it's a female. Her name is Buckeye. Um, she's an adult. She's not growing anymore. I guess I'll pull this guy out and show him while she's getting that done. He hisses sometimes. He tries to sting, but he's a big baby at heart. If I go on this side and I'll touch him, he will turn around and try to get me, but he'll eventually run away and be like, oh shit, I know that's my nigga right there. So. And right now, all three of them, well, the slings and then him. They're being heated by a nocturnal bulb just dangling above the cage. Heats them very well. I have a electric thermometer where I take temperatures of all the cages, make sure they're all good and warm enough and not too hot, not too cold for them. See these guys, they're kind of just off to the side. lamp needs dusted um, to keep humidity I use the basic big spray bottle I actually have this in here and then and also extra thing to keep right down here my humidifier. Alright, my battery's dying, so my flash cut off on me, son of a bitch. Um, but yeah, I'll do feeding videos of everything. Tarantulas, um, snakes, like this guy down here. And, um, when I get more, which I'm going to, I'm getting another Amazon tree board sometime next week. I might breed ball pythons if you have any questions, tips, anything you need. Um, you can just comment, message, like, do whatever, the whole YouTube thing. Um, he's kind of posted up down there like, you motherfucker, you woke me up. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions, anything, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. I'm pretty good at this. I do my research before I buy stuff, so, um, 
yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, do whatever, you know, hit a nigga up. Alright, peace YouTube.